Alrighty, welcome to Ben Buckle Boards. So I just thought we'd put together this very quick video on what to consider when you're looking at the short electric skateboard. We've got three here, um, very high quality boards. We've got the Evolve Stoke, the Dot uh, Cut Compact, and then we've got the Riptide R1. Uh, very fun boards. They've all got a kick tail, you notice. Uh, so they're very similar but they vary in several things like price and range, etc. So I thought I'd run through it very quickly and it'd be a high level overview. So just some things to consider when you're look, looking to buy your next short electric skateboard. Alrighty, so to kick it off, I might just start with price. So the Riptide is the cheapest, around about $1,000. Um, getting up there around 1100 now with the um, Australian dollar. The Evolve is next, that's actually on special. This one's a steel. This is actually a GTR skateboard in a smaller compact um, deck so that is uh, $11.99 and then you go up to the dot compact brand new board on the market $13.99 and then in terms of range uh, the dot is actually uh, customizable at the moment you see it's got two batteries on there one and two batteries uh, you can, the starting price of $13.99 is with the one battery and that'll take you 10 kilometers or 20 kilometers with two batteries so, uh, next in terms of range is the Riptide, 11 kilometer range, and then you've got 15 kilometers on the Stoke. Uh, now max speed, so they say 29 on the Riptide, uh, 36 on the Stoke, and 30 on the Compact. So all around the same uh, max speed. I think 30 k's per hour or thereabouts is quite good. Uh, next thing I'd normally look at is motor power. Uh, now. Evolve's got two motors, Riptide's got two motors. Well, in fact, the Evolve is a, uh, what is it, 2,500 watt motor, so 3,000 watts. I'm not sure, Riptide, I have to check that. Omar's in the background. Omar, do you happen to know the size of the Riptide? No, we'll have to ask Riptide. Um, now, Dot, coming back to its modularity again, is just one motor on the 3099 price point. There's the motor there. And you can get two motors. What's the... Hey Omar, did you know what um, size the one single motor is? It does say on their website 2100 watts, but I can't remember if that was for one or two motors. I would assume that's for two motors. Um, and we'll check that out, we'll get back to you. Maybe we can write it on the screen somewhere. Anyway, sorry about that, Dot. Um, now, what else? Charge time? Yeah, it depends on the charger that you're using. Um, so the Dot Compact is one hour. The Evolve Stoke is one and a half hours, and the uh, Riptide they say is three and a half hours. I don't know why they'd say that, maybe it's got a really slow charger, but whatever. Um, board weight, that information is not on the Riptide side, but I can tell you the Stoke is eight kilograms and the Dot is five kilograms. Their max load, uh, they say, is 125 kilograms on the Riptide, 100 kilograms on the Stoke, and they didn't say. Now, do you have to know the max weight on the Dot? 120. 120. I'm getting whispers. 120. 120 max weight on here. 100 max weight on there. And 125 max weight on there. All about the same. Uh, warranty. Now this one is a big one because I guess warranty goes up with price. So Riptide is six months. The Evolve Stoke is one year and the Dot Compact is two years. So with that extra money you're paying for that extra warranty for the two years. Uh, now support on all these brands is quite good. And um, sorry, this quarter is now difficult. All right, back to it. All right, crew is gone. Noise is going. Okay. Oh, Omar has just brought out. Hey, Omar, do you want to show everyone the light? Omar. So. If you want to, with the dot, you can actually buy another motor and then put it on. What was the other motor? It was 250, I believe. And I think the yeah, 250 and the um, extra battery was 300, I believe. So the thing with uh, the dot is to put, to go from one motor to two motors, they do recommend you put a second battery up here. So if you buy the board with just one motor and one battery, uh, to get a second motor, you're going to have to pay for this and the other battery. And that'll take up to about 1950 or something. 
um, and they do say, sorry, that um, this will represent a hill climb of about 15 degrees gradient and then two motors will be a hill climb of about 30 degrees gradient. And just remove that little bolt there, little nut screw, and the motor will come out and then you slot in the new motor. And there's no cables, it's just one slot. Yeah, that's the really cool part about this. <laughs> slot it in. There's a little bit of plane noise, sorry about that. And there's a little bit of grinding noise from one of the other businesses over there. Alrighty, so what else? I think we've gone through all the, the facts. I guess one, one major difference is Riptide is an American brand, um, and so support comes from America. Um, Dot and Evolve are both Australian brands, so Dot comes from Globe Surf Industries Australia, a uh, big international company, but Australian owned. Uh, by the two Hills Brothers, uh, and they created a division called Dot, and then um, they, they assembled them and um, provide support out of Melbourne. And then uh, Stoke uh, Evolve is provide support out of the Gold Coast, where their head office is for the entire world. All right, so what do we think? I gave you all the facts and the figures really quickly. Uh, sorry about that, bit of a brain dump, a bit boring. But what would you do? How do you decide which board to get when they're all roughly the same? Um, I guess look to what the original, what the designers originally said. So uh, Dot was all about um, coming from the skateboarding industry. Uh, so they're very skateboard orientated. Uh, the deck shape is all their traditional style of skateboarding. Um, Evolve probably more surf orientated. Um, they go for sheer power, um, very very aggressive, um, very capable uh, skateboard. Um, both very high quality brands. Uh, it's really hard to know how else to differentiate it. Um, I guess one other important thing is the motors. So on the Riptide, uh, you'll see the motor outside, same with the stoke. The motor on the stoke is out the back. And well, in fact, because they've put the motors out the back, they've also made this bash guard here. And whereas the dot has the motor in hub. Now the reason dot went for the in hub motor is to get uh, a lot more free roll. Um, when you put the, the motor in the hub, you do get a lot of free roll because it's um, it's unobstructed, unobstructed by the belt. Uh, but then, of course, the, the drawback is you do feel a lot more road vib vibration because there is only about three mil of polyurethane there. Whereas, um, if you have the motor outside the wheel, then you get the whole uh, whack of polyurethane in the wheel and you can also change the cut wheel colours, change the wheel sizes, uh, it gives you a lot more flexibility there. So with that, I might move on to one of the drawbacks of having the motor at the back. I guess, Duncan, if you look down here, if you're going to do a, a mono, you're a bit limited in how far this board can go back. It is limiting but it's also kind of good, so you, you'll scrape along the bottom and it will stop you from falling off. I mean, that's good for some people, uh, but if you do want to mono more and have a bit more freedom, then these two boards offer it. See, the dot can come back all the way and it behaves, I'll just move down the It behaves like a normal skateboard with that kick clip at the back. So with that, you can do a few more tricks, a lot more um, traditional skateboard tricks, particularly with the light weight of the board. Uh, so the, the kick clip they did in their dot promo video was actually a real kick clip. We're going to try that later, Emma. Um, you ready? And then, yeah, this can go up on its tail as well. It's got a similar amount of movement. The one thing I'll say though um, about the Riptide is the deck does feel considerably cheaper, um, and that's reflected in the price point. So, yeah, and the deck grip just kind of just peels off occasionally, but you know you're going to get that with with a cheap board, and that's what's with them what you pay for. Um, this is V-ply, so the reason they use V-ply, it's actually ply um, up on its end, vertical ply, all glued together. So that means, so vertical ply uh, can be a lot stronger uh, with, with a lot less uh, thickness, and then they can get the shape that they want. So this is really quite an amazing um, deck, very high quality. Everything about this board is high quality, it's like a Mercedes Benz. Okay. Well, I don't know. I still don't know which one I will choose. 
Uh, Omar, did you have? A, did you want to come around here and tell everybody what you think? What would you like to purchase yourself? We were just discussing off camera that it is actually a very hard choice. Um, maybe one thing we can look at is the remote. So starting with the cheapest mm. board, um, this remote is very lightweight. It feels a bit um, hollow. Um, you've got the accelerate and your brake there. Um, functional, but probably not as good. As not as good. Um, going up in price, you've got the Evolve. I think this is one of the best, well, it is the best uh, remote in the world. But you've got your LC display up there. Um, it's not on at the moment, but you've got your accelerator and your brake. So it's all very intuitive. Next um, is like an alien remote, something that no one's ever really seen before and people actually struggle with how to put it on their hand. But just so you know, this is how, actually how you do it, like this. And then you'll have two fingers for accelerate and two fingers for brake. Um, now they have a tiny, tiny LCD screen there. And when you turn that on, um, it's quite hard to see. Did I just turn it off? I can't even see with my sunglasses. Yeah, you did. Yeah, anyway, it's tiny, um, but it's not designed to be used while you're riding. You, you get in there and you set set things. Um, you can control the acceleration curve and the braking curve. Um, loads of functionality in a tiny, tiny screen. Um, but once you've settled those settings, then it's literally you just forget about it. Uh, and then you just accelerate and you just brake. Um, in, in that respect, it's very easy to use. Um, of course, you won't really know what speed you're traveling at. Um, and neither will you with this one. You could always have a... Uh, no, you can use like relief to check what your speed was. So you don't really need to always look at the remote. Uh, but I do love that you can control uh, your curve, speed curve, your brake curve with that remote. Yeah. If that functionality was in that remote, that would be the best for me. Okay. Um, so what you're saying, after you've gone on your trip, you can check what your top speed was? Yeah, you can still, you can still see if there's a trip because yeah. there's no Okay. So I and guess you can use a uh, third-party app to, to uh -huh. track your speed too. So if, for example, you're in Queensland and where the speed limit is 25 kilometers per hour, and you wouldn't know that until you stopped. Yeah. So it'd be just, oh, hang on, officer, I'll just check on my right to tell you how, how fast I was going. Yes. Yeah. Um, It is what it is. Um, but the good thing also about that R2 remote, you can actually lock your speed to 20, 25, or 32. Oh, I see. One other feature of this remote yeah. is you can uh, set the speed limit. Uh, you can't set the speed limit with this one. No. Okay. So this one, we can't tell what speed we're doing at the time, and we can't set a speed limit, but we can control the acceleration of the brake curve, and it's dead easy to use. Uh, this one is. You were saying it'd be nice to control the speed and the braking curve, um, but it does show you the real-time uh, speed and the odometer, and you can see what mode you're using. Correct. I guess one thing I would, if I was going to add something to this while we're adding things to this, I would add like a non-glare screen, yeah. a matte finish or something, so that and, a, and a backlit screen, so it's a bit easy to see in the, in the bright sunlight. Um, maybe it needs night mode or a day mode. Or something. Cool. Um, yeah, next step is to test ride. Yeah, next step is to test ride. <laughs> Any other questions? Well, the other thing with this board, you, you start, you need to have it rolling. The roll start oh, yeah. board. Well, that one and this one are uh, you know, I'm still, still pointing. Yeah, both of these boards have an on off button on them. So people who are used to riding on these are used to like turning it on, standing on it and squeezing the trigger and going. Uh, if those people jump on this board, they'll be a little bit lost to start with because they'll stand on it and try to go somewhere, but they won't be going anywhere. Um, this, like all Mercedes-Benz cars, have a lot of indoor safety features. So it will not, even when it's on, it will not accelerate unless it is in motion. So you do have to give it a kickstart. Uh, and also, when you brake under extreme braking, it will not skid. It's more like got ABS, mm. which is really interesting. So, no matter how hard you try, I guess kind of a, for me, a little bit of a limitation. Um, I'm I'm trying to skid it. I'm trying to um, do all sorts of stupid things with it. Um, but it, it's a very well-behaved board. That's what I'd say that.
All right, but the other thing I'll do is don't take our word for it. We've got um, a young new upstart here, Vince. You might have seen him on a couple of videos. I'm going to ask him out to go for a test ride on these as well, and we'll just get his immediate feedback. Um, so with the electric skateboard, to accelerate, you want to lean forward. Yep. And leaning forward, um, this back leg becomes straight and stops you from falling back. Okay. Um, and when you brake, you just want to lean back, lean back, and then lean back. This this leg becomes straight and stops you from falling forward. Yep. Um, and just very easy on the trigger there. Yep. Um, that, there's a little metal grade up there, so just try and avoid that. Maybe just go up and around a bit. Okay. Don't go over it. Yeah, you have to you have to sort of lift the front wheel up. Tip here as well. Um, oops. One, uh, just one thing to remember if you on the stoke is that if you loosen up the bushings, this thing becomes really mellow and really carby. So um, that's the best way to ride this board. I think we've got the truck set really tight, pretty tight, but uh, loosen them up and this, this board becomes really fun. The bash guard hitting. Please evolve. If you make this again, can you please put the bash guard at the front or somewhere else? It's killing me. What do you reckon? Yeah, unreal. It's good fun. Good fun? Yeah, nice. Alright, let's put you on the uh, dot. Yeah. So that means that means the push start is kicking with your foot? Yeah. Or engage it. Yeah. This one because it's kind of like that in between feeling. It's like it's, it's got a bit of movement to it, but I still feel side enough to get around. And it's uh -huh. nice to carve on. Um, also, yeah, the, the remote's heaps nice nice to hold, it doesn't kind of get in the way too much. Yeah, right. Riding all these two, I think Stokes, Stokes seems to yeah. take, take the prize. Yeah. Best board out of these three. Yeah. Alright, so if you could buy any board, which one would you buy? Out of these three, definitely the Stoke. Okay. They're most fun. Cool. Well, there you have it. Um. Alrighty, so wow, that was pretty confusing for poor old Vince. Uh, tried all the boards, loved every one of them. So again, that just shows uh, how these two high quality boards are very similar in the compact range. Um, I guess it just comes down to your individual ride style, so it's important to have a test ride. Come to Ben Buckle Balls anytime and have a test ride. And it could also come down to your individual budget. Uh, so best of luck deciding and let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. And see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.